project details. Choice of profile cross section. Defining area to be covered with planks. Here we're going around each corner of the two chosen bays. At this stage, features such as openings, column opes, line, and or point loads can be added to the base. If the remaining portion of a bay has a width between 4 feet and 8 feet, it can be divided up in a smart way to avoid weakness around a core as well as leaving strand without adequate side cover. Two additional tool buttons have been added to facilitate steel framed building. The Design Tool button displays the plank's geometry on page 1 of the output. Page 2, which is turned off here, shows a design summary of the appropriate country code. The Design button will allow a changeover to a different plank profile. ACI requirements can be added later if required. The Grouping command assigns other planks to inherit the features of the original plank. The total square feet button allows for a variety of pricing options. Grouping can then be followed adding hangers if needed, but approval by the office manager should be given for this. Define the two support edges for the hanger. The associated hanger point loads are automatically generated at their ends and can be utilized in the design option if enabled.
Production details are now sent to the drawing for display, as well as a detail of each individual plank. The planks are now ready to be added to trailer. As there is a lot of repetition to follow, let's speed up a little. Production bed details follow. Once added, Sorting of the planks within a bed is possible. Bed details can be generated in three ways. FloorCAD defaults to the Excel option as it has built into it an option for printing out sticky labels. These are slapped onto the side of each plank and can be read as a barcode. The barcode scanned combination can then be used in our stockyard module. See the link at the end of this video. We hope you found the video addressing your needs and are open to add in any further enhancements you consider necessary.